my name's Asia and we live in Ditmas Park, Brooklyn. We love it here. It's just really pretty. It's like nice houses, nice apartments, and it's actually, I think, one of the most diverse cities in the country. I've lived in my apartment building with my husband and my daughter for just over a year, not that long. Um, my daughter's 14 months, so when we moved here, I was pregnant with her. We would never allow smoking in our apartment ever. <laughs> actually, when I did smoke, I never smoked in my apartment, maybe like once or twice, but I really was under the impression that people don't smoke in their apartment anymore because it's just, you don't want your place to smell like smoke all the time. When I, we looked at this apartment, I was pregnant, and um, when I came to see it, it was actually like the workmen were working on it, and it actually smelled like smoke really strong, and the uh, I mentioned it to the realtor, and she said that, um, that the people who were working here are probably smoking but that it would be smoke free when we moved in and stuff when we actually did move in i would say like a week or two later i was sitting on the couch like by the window and i just smelled the smoke and a friend was over and we both were like it was just so strong it came in through the windows it came in through the vents in our building it came in through the floors it came in through the kitchen vents it came into the bathroom like wherever he was smoking it would come in our concerns with the secondhand smoke were mostly the fact that I was pregnant. We were getting itchy eyes and we were caught sometimes we would be coughing and a couple of times like we would turn our if you turn the air conditioner on because the guy's apartment's right under us and he would be sitting out the window smoking so it would like pull the the smoke in. So and it was like really hot in the summer. So it was just it was like every aspect of it was really getting in the way. And then he would try to like smoke in the ba in the bathroom and we have like fans so the they would be like, we'll just put the fan on, but we put the fan on and it would like suck the smoke in. <laughs> it was just really bad. The management people, um, they tried to do stuff. They vacuumed out our vents, which had like soot like this thick in them, because I guess they had never been vacuumed out. They put like caulking and like on all the cracks on the floor, and they eventually bought us two air purifiers, which was really really great. But honestly, like even though they'd done all this stuff, which pretty much proved that they knew that it was a big issue. Um, it just wasn't enough like initially they were really adamant that they couldn't do anything about it and like you know if we can't stop people from drinking in their apartment we can't stop them from smoking and it was like well drinking doesn't really bother us like you know whatever they want to do but smoking is like a major health issue the realtor had said oh like that's because the guy underneath you smokes really heavily and actually like other neighbors who lived here had actually moved out because of it so if they had told us that then we would definitely not have moved here it definitely affects other people like their i know their son has asthma so um, for them it's like really serious and you're not supposed to be able to smoke at the pool so it's also worse for them because it's actually like already a rule that you can't do that I would love our building to be smoke free I think that it honestly should be all buildings should be smoke free I know probably people think that's like terrible for people who smoke but it's really not that hard to go outside and smoke and actually like when I smoked it actually made me smoke less to have to go outside which is actually better for your health um, but I think it's kind of ridiculous that people can, like, they don't, they can't smoke in bars and you can't smoke in beaches, you can't smoke in parks, but you can smoke in your home and the smoke goes into someone else's home. I just think that's, it doesn't make any sense to me, you know, because your home is somewhere where you are, like, you know, most of the time. And if you have a risk of, like, getting cancer or getting asthma or getting even just allergies, you know, it's just, it's not worth it. It's just really stressful just like thinking about it because you want to provide like a nice healthy environment for your kids so you don't want to be up at night like stressed out because you're sleeping in smoke or your baby's sleeping in smoke and like I just think it's it's important for people to know that they do have options you know and that other people have gone through the same thing and have had like really good outcomes.